Hey guys, this is Hung Van Gogh. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, I invite the amazing Marianne Elizabeth here. She lent me her beautiful canvas to create this makeup look for you. It's more about enhance your beauty instead like a lips look or an eye look. I hope you enjoy video. I know Marianne enjoy the makeup look. Love it. Enjoy the process. And always keep my channel a lot of love. Subscribe to the channel and really subscribe it not just watching and not subscribe and don't forget to follow all of us on instagram as well thank you for all the support i'm going to use the color corrector from nars and foundation concealer from dior beauty marianne have really beautiful skin for me if everyday wear she doesn't really need to wear anything maybe just a little bit color corrector around this area and then I think she's ready to go. But for camera, we always put a little more than we should. So I'm gonna do is, I'm doing a little bit of color corrector first, and then a little bit of foundation and concealer as well. And for color corrector, you see that I'm using mainly on this area here. I'm doing one side so you can see the difference. For those who don't like to wear too much foundation concealer, color corrector is the way to go. You take some of the redness out, you take some of the dark shadow out, and then you don't have to put anything else. You can see that on Marianne, I put just a little bit color corrector and her skin just looked flawless already. And then a bit around here more. Because sometimes people don't use the color corrector, you end up putting so much foundation concealer because you think that the skin needs it. But sometimes that's all you need is just the, a little bit of color correction to even the skin out. You can see right now, she looks pretty perfect without anything else. And I'm going to do the same on the other side. As you can see that, just the color corrector, no foundation concealer. For the foundation, I'm going to use very little. Marianne has really beautiful skin. She doesn't need too much and naturally she doesn't wear much makeup either. For me, whenever you do a makeup on the talent, you want them to feel comfortable as well. And I'm using a kabuki brush and just blend it out. So Marianne, how did you start modeling? I began my modeling career at the uncommon age of 46. Really? Yes. So and that was, I'll reveal my age, if you do the math, <laughs> about eight years ago. Wow. So. You look amazing for your age though. Thank you. So when you was younger, you didn't really model at all? Or no? Well, I was scouted um, back in the day um, before Instagram, before any of the uh, internet, etc., in the 80s when I was really young. And, yeah. Uh, I didn't have an opportunity to go to Paris. I stayed and finished high school and then went on to college and graduate school. And then by the time I was in my 20s, it was a different era. It was, yeah. you know, you kind of didn't have a career at that point. I was in advertising and design as an artist and mm -hmm. I really didn't see myself represented. I didn't see women from my peer group yeah. in advertising. You see mostly just young women. Right, yeah. yeah. And I wanted to see myself reflected back to me. I knew that my demographic deserved that. We were powerful spenders yeah. and wanted to see ourselves in the, in the advertisements for the products that we were purchasing. I really wanted to go back and pursue the dream that I had as a young person to model. It was something that I had always wanted to do and I'm in retrospect glad that I didn't do it as a younger person because I feel like I bring so much more to the experience with everything I've done since, you know, um, in the arts and even as a college professor and now even as a yoga instructor, there's just not one dimension to us you know we have different parts of our lives that we bring to an experience and 
what I love most about this is the, the creativity and meeting creatives like yourself. And Thank you. It's a lot of fun. Yeah. But I think that it's important as we age to stay curious yeah. about life and to continue to grow and expand and pursue things. Who is to say? Who makes up the rules that but I, can't do yeah. something at a certain point? And it wasn't easy. I got a lot of no's, yeah. a lot of no thank yous. And I even when I started, had a lot of jobs that wanted to color my hair because my hair was gray. Yeah. And now it's what everybody wants. Yeah. So you, you just have to stay true to yourself yeah. and be authentic. And that I think is what rules the day. But I think it's amazing. It's also show to people that, you know, even you have a dream or mm -hmm. a, a, a chance when you're 14 and you didn't model them, but you're still able to do it now at 48. So it's never too late to do what you want to do, really, you know, and right. you still want to experience. A lot of times people say, you know what, you have a chance to do it. If you don't take that chance, you may not have it again. Somewhat true, but you know, you can see you are the example to prove it to people. You're still able to do that still. You know, Absolutely. with the college, you know, a lot of people say, you know, when you're 16 years old, if you don't model, you have to quit college. But, you know, it shows nowadays that you still can have degree, you still have another career and try the modeling after. It's not too late either. Absolutely. Yeah. And as it should be. And I think, too, for me personally, there was also a part of it that I wanted to make aging women yeah. relevant. Yeah. Because it's a blessing to age it's mm -hmm. a good thing to have the opportunity to show that you know just because you're 54 that you shouldn't be in an ad for you know mm. age products and that it can be relevant yeah for you know lots of different things the next product i'm using is the cream bronzer from chanel you saw me use this many times I just want to give the perimeter of the face a little more definition. Mary has amazing cheekbone and jawline, and I want to bring it all back from using a little bronzer. Do you wear much makeup at all normally, Marianne? You don't, right? In day to day, yeah. not much. Um, but if you do makeup on yourself, what are the things you wear? I will usually do a little bit of a serum with uh, some concealer just where it's necessary, yeah. just like you had demonstrated, yeah. um, that, that inner part of the eye, etc. But a little bit of accentuating some mm -hmm. lip, you know, pop a color on the lip and that's it. So it's hard for me to ask you a question of how you compare the modeling before the now, but since you model only eight years. Mm -hmm. But you find that even from eight years ago and now you see the difference in the business? No. Absolutely. As I was saying, how so? Yeah. Well, in the beginning when I started, I mm -hmm. had um, some bookings that really were difficult to say no to because they wanted me to color my hair. Yeah and I wasn't willing to do that. And now, you they know, love fast the gray forward, hair. Yeah. eight years later, and silver gray hair is this huge trend. And I, I don't think it's a trend. I think it's a, a shift that's here to stay. I think it's wonderful that women feel empowered to embrace whatever. Yeah. You know, it's not for everyone and nothing is. You know, if you, if you want to age naturally and you're not interested in kinds of cosmetic procedures, etc., and that's just my choice. I'm yeah. not doing that. And that's not everyone, but it works for me. I think like people should do what they feel like doing. My channel, like a lot of people always like, I want to make this channel very positive. And mm -hmm. majority of them are very positive of a channel because we are really just an educational channel. It's not about entertainment, so it's great. And I always embrace whatever age it is, however you want to wear makeup. Like I talked to you earlier, how you normally wear, and I want to know whatever makeup you wear that you feel comfortable. And at the same thing, makeup is personal. I always tell people that. So whatever I create on you is one thing, but then again, people want to do at home, they do the way they would feel comfortable. Mm. You know, it's the same thing, you feel comfortable with your gray hair, and you know, people should applaud that. So. Mm. The next product I'm using is the 
powder from Refi or Refi. This is a very interesting, unique texture. You, you can use the brush if you like to, or it's best work with the sponge. And what I like about this is kind of like a cooling. You can feel that, right? I can, it feels nice. It is for someone who do not like powder. Basically, it's so sheer, it's almost like nothing. It, I love that. Yeah, and it sounds like an ad, but I'm not sponsored from this at all. But I, I used for one video already, and I, I just love how it's, I used with a brush the last time, but apparently it worked better with this puff like this. And I just love how natural it is, and it is take out the shine without deposit any of the pigment. You can see that. I take out some of the shine and I just really... And it's kind of cooling texture. It's very interesting. Mm -hmm. I never seen anything like this at all, but I absolutely love it. And I'm doing the same on the other side. I use the same on this side. Marianne just told me you feel a little wet, right? It feels like when you, when I put on your face, it's a little wet. So it's... You can feel the cooling. Yeah. It does feel that way. It's a very interesting texture. So this is the second time I use them, but I, I think it's quite a good technology. And I think it's great for people who doesn't love powder. So it's only great if you don't like powder, you want to take out the shine, but you want some pigment deposit, then this might not be the right one for you. But I think, you know, for skin, you want to take the shine out without all the deposit. This is perfect powder for you. Next, I'm used in the Le Beige Bronzer. This is the limited edition. They have a bigger size and there's a big brush like this. You can use this for me. I use this for foundation for sure. But we use today as a bronzer, as a bronzing brush, I mean. You can see that I do very gentle, a little bit at a time. So when you go out, do you still wear little makeup or you do wear some makeup? I love when I'm going to an occasion yeah. that I have a chance to be creative with makeup. Yeah. That's always fun. I love to accentuate my eyes or maybe do a minimal no makeup makeup look, which yeah. you know requires a lot of makeup. A lot of makeup <laughs> to make it look good. Um, yeah. I've learned a lot from uh, really talented artists, and that's a lot of fun. And yeah. then maybe like a pop of lip. Recently, yeah. I've gotten more confident with wearing mm -hmm. a beautiful red lip mm -hmm. with no eye accentuation. So yeah. unlike in the 90s where we would go for it all, yeah. the eye, the lip, everything yeah. was accentuated. So I kind of like to, you know, keep it, keep the um, exaggeration on one area. Yeah. And um, it's a lot of fun. So... I love makeup and I love playing with it. And then, you know, it's play different character, you know? Yes, exactly, exactly. Especially if you're wearing something really um, elegant and sophisticated, yeah. it's it's really nice to find a makeup look that it's all, like an accessory, really. Yeah. Next, I'm going to use a blush first. Sometimes I do eyebrow, eye and go down, but I think it's nice to have a, a color on the cheek before you go the rest of the face. I love this color. I think it's more like a mauve color, I think. Again, I always say that you see how my application with the blush, I take very little bit at a time. So it's easy to blend. And I keep a little bit. Marian have a really beautiful cheekbone, you see that? So I do a little bit on the cheekbone there. One of the reasons why I'm doing blush first today to show you guys that how different it is. So you see that when the face, there's no eye makeup, lips product, when you put blush, it look a lot. But I think when you have some eye makeup, you have some lips, everything type plan out. So you can choose what would be your focus. Gonna be the blush the focus, or the lips the focus, or the eye the focus. Today, I'm giving her a lot of color on the cheek. I think she looked really beautiful, but soft the lips color, still eye makeup, but everything more like a nice soft wash. It's nothing like a heavy smoky at all. I think 
that would be a nice start. But this is going to be my focal point and I work toward that. Marianne also have very beautiful eyebrow. I'm going to extend a little longer. So I'm going to use Anastasia Beverly Hill, the brow width and the little brow marker as well. I'm going to feel a few individual hair, just really just enhance the brow even more. The shade I'm using is Blonde. You can see that just a little bit on the outer corner here. Extend the brow out a little bit, not too long but I just want to fill it in on the back here. I just filled in the same on this side. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to use a brow marker. And then you just fill in a few individual hair where you want to feel even more. Maybe a little bit in the front here. So you can see that I just filled in a little more of Marianne eyebrow, a little further in. I think each person, you look at their face and you decide how would you do, you know, to enhance their best feature. She has beautiful eyebrow before. I myself personal would go a little further in and that's why I feel a little further in. But like I can say each makeup artist, when you do your own face, you're gonna see different way to do makeup. For me, I think it's just make her eye look even, you know, elongate and just from the little shape of the eyebrow. I'm going to use the brow frizz as well to set the eyebrow. I just show Marianne her eyebrow and she loves it. And what do you say to me? I love it. I feel like my eyes are the eyes at my 30s. And not that I want to look 30, because I don't. I'm proud of my age. But we all want to look good. We all want to feel good. We want to be our best self. And that just makes you go into the day feeling yeah. empowered, feeling yeah. like you can just accomplish your but dreams and your goals and just feel enlivened. And but, beautiful. We but all I, wanna we all wanna feel beautiful. You're lying if you say you don't. Yeah. <laughs> but I, I love that you say that to show that, you know, a little makeup can, you know, make how we will feel. I think just for a little bit of shaping eyebrow, it, anything like that mm -hmm. that make you feel, you know, like in your thirties again, which is great, you know. So that's what we love about, you know, about playing with makeup. Mm -hmm. Next is for the eye, I'm using these four products. I know it's very excessive how much product I use, but you don't have to. If you're the type of person, mascara, liner, that's all you do, it's fine. For me, because I try to make this channel is an educational channel, I want to show you how I would create someone like they get ready for a red carpet. So I do all the steps I would do, and then you take away what you want to take away. First, this is I use for eye primer, it's a little long way eyeliner. This is from House Lab, a mascara from Lancome, and this eyeshadow palette from Suku. I don't think you can get them in many countries, but they do sell online. I got these when I was in London. And the shade I'm using is this more cooler tone. It's still not too cool with the, the taupey color but it's still like a warm taupey shade and then little highlight here. So that's why I'm used on Marianne today. I always want to recommend people to use a little bit of the eyeshadow primer. Close your eye. Because I think it's going to help the eyeshadow last longer. It doesn't increase as much. If you're not an eyeshadow primer, you don't have to use this step. Next is the long wear pencil. I say in every video, do one eye at a time. I love this shade. It is more like a cooler brown tone, but it's not too dark. I do a little bit 
on the out the corner of the eye. Remember, you do eyeshadow and eyeliner is have to do according to your eye shape. Marianne have a little more deeper eye socket here. I won't put too much dark color there. I would put mainly out here and I keep more lighter color in the socket area. Close your eye. And you can see I put mainly from the outer part. And I'm tight lining the upper lash line right now. I put just a little bit on the upper water line. See, so some people, it's just like this, it's enough. You don't have to do any more than that. You know, I think it's a lot more depth on the eye already. I'm doing the same on the other side. You can see that just a little long way liner I put on the water line and I smudge it out. You little mascara, you're ready to go. But the next step I would do, same brush I use for blending. I put a little color. And you see I'm doing, I blend it outward a little bit. Just pull the eye out even more. Do the same on this side. And then the same look up for me, just very little on the lower lash line. Just define the eye shape even more. You see how gentle I put? Like you just have to be really gentle when you apply it so it doesn't get dusty anywhere. And then you do the same on this side. So you see that just very subtle shadow. I make the eye look really big and smoky. I'm going to use a fluffier brush and I'm use this shape right here. And I put mainly on the socket area. and blend it out. Do the same on this side. The same blending brush with nothing else right now. I just blend the edge out on the bottom here. And then look straight for me. Close your eye. You see what I'm doing right now? I just really brush this color outward to really lift the eye even more. And I'm doing the same on this side. Just really lift it out. I'm going to curl the lashes. I know I say the same thing every video, but you know, these are just reminder because you know, it does lift the lashes. The mascara I'm using today is the Lancome Serum Mascara. This is very hydrating mascara. It gives you great volume and very separate at the same time and not too clumpy, which I love. So the eye pretty much done, but what I'm gonna do a little more is same darker light I used earlier. Close your eye, Marianne. I'm just gonna keep them even more on the outer part here. Not too much, just a little pressing, little color more. Just more exaggeration, so the eye gonna be even elongate and look even longer and lifted if you do a little more like this. Sometimes you brush the lighter color, it take away some of the depth of the dark color. And doing this just bring back some of the of those color. And you can see that, it's just beautiful. For highlighter, I'm going to use the highlighter stick from Victoria Beckham. This is a very beautiful stick, very sheer, natural. 
It's give a nice glow, but it's not too heavy. And I think it's beautiful on all skin type. Do a little bit on the cheekbone area. Keep it bow. See the other side. And what I'm gonna do as well is use a little brush and I do a little highlight on the inner corner of the eye, which I normally don't do, but I usually do it only when someone have a deeper socket eye like this. It just really open out everything. Close the eye, just a little bit there. For lips, I'm going to use this lipstick color from Elizabeth Arden. Elizabeth Arden just came out with a whole range of lipstick shades for satin and matte finish, quite beautiful. And I chose this color because it's almost like Marianne lips color, but a little more enhanced, which I like. And I just apply like it is without a lip liner, just keep it very soft edge. You can see right now, it's just really beautiful shades. It's quite a beautiful texture. You can get quite pigmented if you like, but it's very hydrating. I think they have a matte texture as well, but I haven't tried it yet. So this is just the cream lipstick I tried. As I mentioned earlier, you see that now the blush doesn't look so intense after the eye done and the lips done, it goes so well together. To complete the makeup, I'm going to give Marianne a little Glow Setting Mist from Gucci Beauty just to bring back some radiant on the skin. That's the final look guys. I hope you guys enjoy the process. It's about enhancing everything, a little blush, a little brown pencil, a little everything and we just should quite create a look. It's not really just about the lips or anything but we just really enhance Marianne Naturally Beauty. I hope, Marianne, I hope you enjoy the video. I love it. I never sleep with makeup on but tonight I'm gonna sleep with the makeup on. <laughs> Thank it looks you. too good. I Thank have you. to be seen. Yeah, Thank you. I'm glad. I hope you go out and do something nice tonight. It's incredible. Thank you Thank so much. You. I Thank feel like a million dollars and I look like more than that. It's just <laughs> incredible. Thank you for coming to the channel. I hope everyone share the video, love the video, keep the video thumb up, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to follow all of us, Marianne, Kelly, myself, and my team on Instagram as well. Thank you.